Hello folks. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a quick and automated gotcha farm. Gotchas are lovely because they can produce a lot of different items for us, both specifically through their production wheel. So if I go and see what this guy's got, uh, ooh, black pearl, sure, you can produce black pearls for me. Um, either through that production wheel or through the other items they create that we can then grind down to get the base resources for. Now, one of the things I see an awful lot of as I cruise around the maps are people building gigantic gotcha farms with tons and tons of gotchas. And that's really not super necessary. Really, all you need for a good gotcha farm is no more than two to three gotchas. The production type of the gotchas is not super important because even if they're not producing a specific type of resource you're looking for, the items that they're going to produce that we can then grind down are almost guaranteed to give you pretty much every type of resource imaginable. So here I have just a little area set up showing what you need to set up an automatic gotcha farm. The first and most important are your gotchas, and then also these items which are called gotcha gavagers. They look almost like the big teleport pads we had on regular arc before mods came around, and a feeding trough. Now, for the gotchas and the gavagers, what's really nice about the gavagers is that they take away the requirement that you have opposite gendered gotchas. Normally, gotchas don't like it if they are too close to a member of the same gender, but with the gavagers, it does not matter. They will stay happy no matter what. So I'm going to go in here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the inventory, and I'm just going to throw in a couple stacks of stone. That's really all you need to feed your gotchas. So we're going to give you guys some stone over here. And then I'm going to go into the radio wheel and I'm going to choose start feeding. Same thing for this one. And you'll notice these lovely little force field domes come up over the top. Now, this is the point where even if you had two of the same gendered gotchas, it wouldn't matter because this little dome is going to keep them separate from the others. The automatic feeding, if I go back in here now, you'll notice the stone has disappeared from the gavager. But if I go in to my gotcha, that's now been moved to his inventory so he can eat it. Really, the only thing I level up on my gotchas are the weight. I give them a point or two into weight so they can hold that stone. Other than that, I leave them alone. So now these gotchas are up and running and they're going to start producing gotcha crystals for me. The next thing I have are a couple of snow owls. These guys are great because they will produce those owl pellets, which when the gotchas eat them are going to give me higher quality loot. Along with that, I have a couple of items set up here nearby. First up is my item collector. This item collector, when it's powered and turned on, is going to collect a variety of items. If I go under collection options here, I can see that I have the option for owl pellets and gotcha crystals, which are the two that we're really looking for. Um, everything should be automatically enabled to begin with. I usually just leave everything enabled, but you can turn off different things if you don't want it. Like I could say, oh, I don't need you collecting poop because I don't have a greenhouse or a dung beetle around here. That's fine. Um, I don't need it collecting eggs. So I'm just going to leave it at that. The other thing it has is distribution options, and this is things that it collects that it's going to distribute to other places. We want to make sure Gotcha Crystals is enabled and Owl Pellets is enabled. So what this collector is going to do, it's going to collect the pellets from the owls, and it's automatically going to send them to the Gotchas periodically. That's going to give me that higher quality loot. What it's also going to do is collect any of the gotcha crystals that are produced by my gotchas. Now, next to that, I have the crystal cracker. And the crystal cracker is going to get the gotcha crystals from the item collector. And it's going to automatically crack them open so that I get the goodies 
that are inside the crystals. No more worrying about the crystals despawning before you can get to them. No more sitting there having to open up one at a time. The crystal cracker is going to do it all for you. Now, the Crystal Cracker also has two other really useful options. If I go into its radial menu, I have a Send to Dedicated Storage option. If I had this set up at my base, this would automatically send any items that I have a dedicated storage set up for directly to that dedicated storage. It's not going to do anything right now because I am not near any Dedi storages, but if you have this, as I said, set up at your base near to your dedicated storages, it's automatically going to send those items from its inventory directly to the Dedi boxes. Now the second thing is send to industrial grinder. Anything I don't have a dedicated storage for, whether it's things like armor, weapons, tools, and whatnot that the gotchas might produce, I'm going to send right to the industrial grinder, and I have that over here. Once things are sent to the grinder, I grind them down to their base resources, grab those resources out of it, and right next to my grinder, I have the SS dedicated storage intake. With this, any items I have in my inventory that I have a dedicated storage set up for, if I come up and deposit, it'll pull any of those items from my inventory and again, send them directly to the dedicated storages for me. So this makes it really easy to automate just about everything. The Gavagers will keep my gotchas happy, It'll feed them and make sure that they're producing those crystals. Item collector is going to collect the owl pellets from the owls and send them to the gotchas. Collect the gotcha crystals from there and send them directly to the crystal cracker. The crystal cracker will open up those gotcha crystals and start collecting my resources. Then I can send directly to my dedicated storage or send to the industrial grinder to grind items down further. My grinder will grind them all down, and then my dedicated storage intake sends everything once again to my dedicated storages. So there you have it. Quick and easy way to set up your gotcha farm without needing a million gotchas. Hope this helps. Happy arcing.